after discussing a few basic techniques like isolation of DNA, its analysis by agarose gel electrophoresis, and then its hybridization by using different type of blotting techniques, now we are going to discuss the transformation of E. coli. Transformation, it is the uh, genetic alteration of a cell by the uptake of foreign or exogenous DNA from its environment. If we consider the example of E. coli as a host organism, then one can say that it is the uptake of recombinant DNA like the vector or the plasmid by the recipient E. coli cell from a mixture of plasmids. Now, earlier, different workers attempted to transform E. coli. Lekin, zyada tar jo koshishin ki gain, wo kaam yaab na ho sakin. Now, what were the reasons? Now, we have the idea from the physiology of the microorganisms that uh, microbes, they produce different type of restriction enzymes. And these restriction enzymes, they can continuously monitor the incoming foreign DNA. And if cell realize that this is the foreign DNA, it is being attacked and degraded by the restriction enzymes of the cell. So, restriction enzymes, they are actually the defense mechanism of the cell. So, this was the basic problem. Another problem that is also important, uh, it is the competency of the cell. Competence means that what is the ability of the cell to take the foreign DNA. Although in 1928, Frederick Griffith tried to transform cells and to some extent he was successful. You are well familiar uh, about his experiments that he was able to transform uh, non-pathogenic strains of Streptococcus pneumoniae by transferring the genetic material from pathogenic strains of Streptococcus pneumoniae. So, he mixed the non-pathogenic strains with the solution of heat-killed Streptococcus pneumoniae and then he realized that something transferred from pathogenic heat-killed cell to non-pathogenic cells that transformed the non-pathogenic cells into virulent strains. So, us wakat Griffith ko nahi pata tha ke what was the actually transforming principle. Now, the scientist discovered that the transforming principle was the genetic material like the DNA. And then in 1970, a few workers were able to transform E. coli in the presence of calcium chloride and they transform it with the help of bacteriophage lambda DNA. Then after a few years like in 1972, uh, Cohen and his colleagues, they were able to transform E. coli even with the plasmid DNA. Now, what is the plasmid DNA? We have the idea that uh, it is extra chromosomal material of bacteria that can be used as a vector to insert the foreign DNA. Now, there may be different factors that can influence the transformation efficiency, like concentration of the chemical that is used, like calcium chloride and the temperature. Now, it has been suggested that cells can be incubated at low temperature in calcium chloride in the presence of gene of interest or the foreign DNA. And from the low temperature, the temperature is suddenly raised to high like 42 to 45 degrees Celsius. That can result in the uptake of foreign DNA. So, this is basically what we do in log phase cells leke, isko mix karte hain calcium chloride ke solution. Mein. Log phase kya hai? I think you have the idea from microbiology that uh, it is the phase of bacterial growth curve where cells they are dividing actively exponentially. So, bacterial population doubling after a 
particular time period. We can take those actively dividing cells and then it can be incubated in ice cold calcium chloride. What may be the concentration of calcium chloride? Like 50 millimolar per liter. So then the foreign DNA like 0.1 gram target DNA it can also be incubated with the cells. After 30 minutes of incubation so temperature jo hai, raise kar diya jata hai up to 42 ya 45 degrees Celsius. To usse kya hota hai cells can uptake the DNA. Agar humne jo plasmid insert kiya hai, agar usme ko selectable marker hai. Selectable marker means uh, kuch genes like uh, uh, antibiotic resistance. To transformants jo hai, agar usne is tarah ka DNA uptake kar liya hai, that is having some selectable marker to usko phir transfer kiya jata hai aise media pe jisko supplement kiya gaya hai ampicillin antibiotics se to iska advantage kya hoga iska advantage ye hoga ke sirf wahi cell grow kar payenge jinme jo transformants hain unme ampicillin resistance ki gene hai so the presence of ampicillin it will be a selectable marker along with the gene of interest in the plasmid. Now what is the role of calcium chloride in the solution? Its role is that uh, uh, it can bind with the cell wall, it can change the characteristic of bacterial cell wall and at the same time it can also bind with the DNA. So after binding the DNA the rest of the work will be carried out by the heat shock so that DNA can be transferred inside the cell. So this is one of the chemical method that can be used to trans transform host organism like the E. coli. Some other techniques are also there like electroporation by which we can transform the animal cells, plant cells and even uh, bacterial cell like the E. coli. So what is electroporation? So it is a technique in which the cells they are subjected to electric current that can result in the temporary cracking of the cell wall so that even larger DNA molecules they can also be uh, absorbed by the cell. No, this electroporation, it is relatively having a high efficiency of transformation as compared to chemical method. And one of the advantages is that even larger DNA fragments, they can also be introduced into the host organism.